Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I wanted to do just a quick and I mean emphasis on quick or basic look at the new exotic sidearm, the Cryosthesia 77K. This is a new stasis sidearm which is concerning, interesting, and crazy all in one. And this sidearm has some pretty interesting perks to it. First and foremost, it does have an incredibly good stat package, so its neutral game is very, very good. Really high range, really high stability, pretty crazy in nearly every stat category. And it's a 260 RPM, which is okay, but not, in my opinion, the optimal archetype. It's not like, I believe, the other exotic sidearm, I think it's the Traveler's Chosen, that is the 300 RPM, which in my opinion is a better archetype. It has a 670 R uh, charge time in terms of the charge shot, which we'll talk about in just a second, and a 13 bullet magazine. This video isn't going to be anything too in-depth because at the time of recording this, the servers are going crazy and not really working, but I wanted to get just a basic first initial impressions out on the weapon and just my initial thoughts and a basic overview of how it works. So its perk is liquid cooling. Final blows with this weapon enable a charged shot for a short duration. That duration is 10 seconds, I believe. Targets hit by the shot are instantly frozen at the cost of the weapon's entire magazine. So I'll show you guys in just a second in the little bit of a gameplay footage in PvE that I was able to snag. Essentially, you get a kill, you get a 10 second timer where you can charge up the weapon, again 670 charge time there, fire a little dart that seems to be, it works at range but you have to be a lot more exact at range, but fires a dart, freezes on impact, and there you have it and it costs the entire magazine so there is some risk associated with it. And of course it has the intrinsic here, variable trigger, press and release to fire individual shots, hold to fire a charge shot when liquid cooling is active which is the perk that we just talked about. Of course it does have a master work here as well, not sure what that is because I haven't looked in the database either. If you were wondering, yes, this weapon, like other stasis weapons, like we had for the Salvation's Grip, does work with your stasis fragments, which I'm not sure if I like that or not, especially on something that is a primary weapon that you have essentially unlimited uptime for, because weapons are the center of destiny, and being able to use this weapon means you can hypothetically have stasis abilities up like Hedron's, more than you would previously when they're uh, tied to abilities so we'll see how that plays out i'm gonna hop into some gameplay now where i'll discuss a little bit more of the same but show it in practice if you guys haven't already i'd appreciate it if you can check out my twitch twitch.tv slash i stream on there pretty frequently so if you'd like to come by and hang out i appreciate it but let's now just move on to some of the quick gameplay snippet we have of this weapon Alright, servers are definitely really acting up here, but I wanted to take the time to try and record at least a little bit of the sidearm gameplay and show you how it works. Basically, you get a kill, and then you get a charge shot that freezes. So in PvE, that's a long freeze, as you can see there. And you can repeat the process. But in PvP, that's a short freeze. The thing is about this is that it actually has really good base stats in its neutral mode. Like, this is just an insanely good sidearm, I think. But the charge beam doesn't seem very forgiving, like, at range, it's... You have to be pretty exact, I want to say. But again, luckily in PvP, this is just a short freeze, so it might not be as bad as you think. Again, you have to get the kill first. You do have 10 seconds to use it, which is pretty crazy. But I think it's a lot easier to pull off in PvE rather than PvP. And while this is a very good weapon, I don't know how much it's actually going to be used. Like I said, the charge time is pretty considerable for, I want to say, for for PvP. So, I'm not sure how this weapon is going to play out. I'm not sure how strong it's really going to be and if it's really going to be meta or really, really annoying. I think it's too early to tell. But I am very happy that there's some. there seems to be some good cost to it, right? Again, the fact that it costs your entire meg, the fact that you have to, again, charge up for a decent amount of time, you have to be a little bit more exact at range as well. You know, it's not a, it's not as bad as I would have thought. And, and like I said, the, the biggest thing being that it, 
of course, um, is only a short freeze. Like, if it was a long freeze, that would be really, really problematic, I think. But, like I said, only time will tell. I'm very interested to see how this weapon develops in the metagame. Because, like I said, it's a very strong set of base stats. And, as you can see here, it's working with our fragments. Which means Whisper of Hedrons with this uh, would work. And it would go off. Which is uh, definitely more on the concerning side of things, I think. I have mainly things that don't affect Freeze right now, other than Grim Harvest. But let's put on, uh, let's put on Hedrons. See how that looks. We get a kill, we freeze, and yes, surely enough, that does trigger Hedron. So, the concerning part of this weapon, even though it's not as bad in some aspects as I would have thought, the concerning part is that you have pretty much much higher potential output, or sorry, much higher potential uptime, I should say, of stasis of your fragments and of the stasis effect to freeze people because it's a weapon and destiny is you know weapons are at the center of destiny at the end of the day i think and when you have a a, a weapon like this that is you know always present and always active and it's the center of what you're doing and you have you know it be able to freeze people like this that kind of uptime gets concerning and that's why while i think that there are some difficult aspects to it like the charge time like the range and like the fact that it's a short freeze only while i think there are some more difficult aspects i i do think it's also still concerning which is why i really don't know what to think of this weapon initially there's a lot of strengths and some things that have brought it back a little bit like i said that make it not as bad but again still still concerning Imagine someone running around with this to just have more uptime on their Hedron's buff. What if you ran this with, I don't know, a, a hand cannon and did that? But then that poses the question, are, are people really going to be running double primary against this? Is it going to be harder to execute this freeze than it will be the shotgun? Will shotgunners put too much pressure on you? I don't know. Again, only time will tell. It's really hard to say, but if you want to see the functionality of this sidearm and kind of just my initial first thoughts, here it is. I would have much rather obviously done this in PvP, but the servers are kind of going crazy right now and not working. So I was able to get a little moment to try this thing out in PvE. And yeah, it's pretty strong. It looks like we're about to be disconnected though. So see you guys in the next one. Take it easy and I'll have a more in-depth discussion about this sidearm and how it develops in the metagame later on. But this is just kind of a initial thoughts, reaction, and trying it out. Take care.